So with the Headrush Prime, there's multiple functions in which you can actually use the unit to access your rigs. Today, we're gonna to be having a closer look at stomp mode. So with stomp mode, there's effectively two functions we need to learn how to use to get the most out of our rigs. The first one is learning how to assign individual effect blocks to individual foot switches here. So for example, got a nice clean sound there. So we can turn say a flanger and a verb on there to just using individual blocks there. The second one is what they call scenes, is where we can assign multiple effect changes to one individual switch. So the way that works is if we come down here, I've got the clean setting, which you've heard. I've got a crunch setting loaded in on this second switch here. And then on the third setting, I've got a really heavy distorted guitar tone. So really, really cool to have the functionality just to hit one switch and completely transform the rigs here. Let's jump in and check out the tutorial. But first, don't forget this patch here, I've got as a free download, just in the description below, you can get that off the HPM Guitar Store for you to load into your unit, customize it, play around and see all the ways which we've rigged this together using Stomp Mode. So let's jump in, check out the tutorial. Okay, so the first function we're going to look at today is how to assign the individual effect block to a foot switch here. So first thing we need to do is make sure we're in stomp mode when we're doing this. So come down, hold the looper button in, and then we're gonna see across the bottom of the unit all the different functionalities here. Stomp is the first one which we're gonna be focusing on today, so we just hit that. All right, second function is come up and select the effect. So we're just gonna assign our tape delay to this foot switch here. Once you've got, you've touched it and you've got it selected and highlighted on the touch screen, come up to the middle position here which is the foot switch button push that it's going to bring up this menu once we've got that then we're going to come in on the vacant foot switch here on this block here press that and then we're going to scroll through until we find our tape echo we're going to press that and we're going to have the functionalities come up on the right we just want to simply turn it off and on so we're going to hit on and then what you have down here is you can have toggle okay or hold, we just want to make sure that's set to toggle. And then once you've got that, we come back to our rig or our home screen here, and then you just see the tape echo is turning off and on just like that. So the next thing we're going to learn is how to set up our scene. So let's jump in on the unit. The first thing we're going to hit is our pedal assign button. Then we're going to come down and hit the vacant effect block, which we want to set up as our clean tone. When we come to this menu, you just want to make sure you bring up any block when we're setting scenes up, because what we need to do is bring up a block and then the bottom of the block, we've got toggle. So push that where it goes to hold, push it again, it goes to scene. Okay. Once you've brought up scene, come up to the edit function, and then you want to go through and make sure you've got everything set up for the clean sound we're going to be setting up. So we've got the wire off, the compression off, the crunch sounds and distortion sounds off, the octaves off, amp is on, cabs on obviously, and then your effects you can set up as you like. But I'm just going to go with that as our clean tone, come back, and then we're going to push the middle button where it says scene five there, and then we're going to set that to clean, just like that. So there's our clean setting right there. With the second block, we want to set this as our crunch, so bring up any effect block, and then we want to come down, toggle, hold, scene, come up to edit. So with this, we've got our wire off, our comp off, we want to make sure the black death is on. So it's set to on. Okay, we scroll through, everything else is how we want it. Okay, come back, and then we can hit scene to change the name of that to crunch. I'll just type this in correctly. Okay, just like that, cool. And then we want to set up a heavy sound. So push that block, bring up our effect block, any old one, toggle, hold, scene, edit. And then we want to make sure we've got, that's it, our distortion is on, our overdrive is on. Okay, we might even throw our echo on this one as well. Okay, that's all cool. And before we actually come back to this, what you can set up with all your individual effect blocks that we've already assigned is you can set them up to either be off 
on or have no change. So what that means is, let's just say hypothetically for our delay we've already set up, let's set that to no change. So what that means, okay, is if we come back, I'll just quickly save this as our heavy sound to show you how this works. So we'll set that as heavy, okay. All right, come back to our rig setup here. So let's just say on our clean setting, we've got that on. So tape echoes on, crunch, heavy. It just means that is set up, whether it's off or on, when we change, it doesn't affect what the delay does. So that's an optional thing there. So that's how we can assign our individual effect blocks and our scenes to make multiple changes with one individual foot switch. The last function I think is pretty important to know how to do is how to move these around and delete blocks. So let's jump in and check that out. All right, so jumping in, we come back to our pedal assign mode. Let's just say we want to swap the tape echo with the particle verb. So really good job head rush is done here. Just grab it till it is selected, move it across, drop it, switches it around. Super duper easy. If you want, let's just take that back. Okay, if you want to delete a block, let's just say hypothetically our octaves we've set up here, we want to bring in another setting we can set up as a scene what you do is just push that and then it says unassigned push that and then it just deletes the block just like that so if you have any questions about anything we've covered in this tutorial drop those in the comments below i'm happy to help out and answer those there also don't forget to download this free patch i showed at the beginning of the tutorial to be your head rush so you can start playing around with some of the sounds that the unit offers and also, if you would like to master the fundamental skill sets of contemporary guitar, follow the links below and check out some of my online courses. The HPM Guitar Fundamentals Program will help you master all the valuable skill sets of contemporary guitar in context. My name is Ryan White. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to catch you all in the next video.